All righty, I have a really big construction update for you guys today. I'm going to try and give you guys as much details that I possibly know um, in the moment as possible. So right there on the screen, you saw Electra disconnecting the power. Um, and I wanted to show that power line leads all the way over to the main park's transformers where someone was going to work on it um, and work on the park's main power. Again, this is definitely a sign you want to see. Um, it aligns with actually even the new construction trailer popping up in the construction area where they store track usually, if that makes sense. So the you're going to see it in a sec, but there's a little section um, of the parking lot where they store track, construction trailers, um, and anything else. So there's the new construction trailer, and there's some forms stored there under those orange tarps that are now displayed as well. So those forms were used to, um, for example build those new forms that are in the exit way or entrance way of that new mountain cutout um, that will then become uh, footing. So as you just saw on the screen really quickly there, there are threaded rods, there's um, rebar as well that becomes rebar cages um, and rebar that also becomes formations like building formations, pathway formations and all that. So, wow, um, there's a lot to go over. Front gate, a lot of work going on still. That main left building still showing a lot of signs of work going on. Um, the brick work is still going on at front gate as well. Outside of that, not much visible work that we can make out. Um, but Leviathan's welding is honestly looking really good. I'm really excited to see the finished product. Um, no signs of anything significant at Backlot Restaurant as well. Um, or coasters or swings of the century. So nothing going on there. No coaster signs in the 2025 speculated area as well. So no signs have come outside of that mountain. They are working really hard on drilling. So you'll see here they have moved over to the right side of the tunnel now. They are... Um, what's the word I'm looking for? drive piling um, to restructure that mound and make it a lot stronger again. So definitely something we want to pay attention to. L pin, I did learn, is the correct way to word it. Um, lots of work going on in L pin. So they are refreshing all of the buildings from what I can tell down to the games. Um, it looks like a potential new um, Coke refresh station there. So maybe the old one's either going to get demolished um, or changed into something else. Um, they are disconnecting the power to the um, basketball game today they were disconnecting the power to the little arcade games claw machine games next to that basketball game and lots of formation work going on um, for uh, concrete to be poured here so there is a lot of rebar cages here and then bolts and threaded rods are in that storage lot um, so my assumption is it is for this area um, again that is a speculated assumption but it is a safe one in my opinion um, I am starting to think we will see some sort of changes to the buildings in the Elpin area. The power was disconnected from the Thunder Run um, old station. And that's usually a sign that you're going to demolish the building or make some significant changes to its structure. So it'll be really interesting to see what plays out there. Um, if you were watching the podcast, you learned today about um, the new Fastlane system coming to Canada's Wonderland. It'll start on April 20th. Um, released on the Cedar Fair stockholder documents. This company um, is going around and essentially cutting lines to install some new electrical equipment at all the fast lane rides that will help with that new fast lane system. So that is what's going on there. You can see them here at Lumberjack in this footage and then in later footage, as you see right here on the screen, you'll see them at Timberwolf Falls. That was like perfectly Worked out in my favor. Um, so they're just cutting um, to work that into the system. So that's just something new that a lot of the parks are launching. Again, single use fast lane will be on your phone as a QR code. And then all season fast lane or day fast lane um, will be a wristband that has a QR code on it that you'll scan at these machines. And there will be an attendant there. Um, outside of that, not too much else to report. Again, if you look closely, they are definitely getting ready to do some sort of threaded rod or rebar structure for either walls um, and anything else that will be involved in that kind of area. So from a logical guess from an engineer who looked at this and compared it to other projects, this is showing signs and similarities to a launch building. 
Um, but I do want to stress that is a speculated guess. I have heard the station has started somewhere in the mound, and a safe guess would be where we saw those old rebar, not rebar, those old round forms during Halloween Haunt in the 2023 season, um, the last week of September. So I'm guessing the station is somewhere in there. There are things in the mountain that I have heard through the birdie mill. Um, that would suggest this and further construction inside. It is a very big open space in there if you've ever been in there. Um, so I'm really curious to see what this ends up being. Like, uh, is it going to have two launches like we suggest here and the possible maintenance tunnel in quotations? Is that going to be a launch as well? We don't know yet. But um, based off of what we're seeing here, this could potentially be a launch. Um, or a break run would be another guess. Um, so who knows? Uh, we'll have to see how this plays out. Wonderland is being a lot more secretive than they typically are with projects. So it is really hard to figure things out. But outside of that, I think I covered everything. I'm going to pause right really quick to make sure I did. I guess one piece of uh, tidbit to add here is maintenance is killing it this season. Leviathan's already got two and a half trains on its track. A lot of the kids' rides are done, um, and a lot of that off-season work is just moving a lot quicker than we've ever seen before. So just a huge kudos to the maintenance team. Like, I can tell how ahead you guys probably are, um, knock on wood. But yeah, outside of that, not much else going on. Again, the tunnel is moving along really well. Uh, the first tunnel should be finishing up sometime next week, hopefully. Uh, and the second tunnel, we should see a lot of action around the Wednesday, Thursday, Friday mark in terms of what it could possibly be. Anyways, thanks so much for watching today's construction update. Have a good one, guys. Bye.